Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make sweet potato pie. I really love this recipe. I think it tastes way better than pumpkin pie. Maybe a little bit more rich than a pumpkin pie. You could also use pumpkin in this if you wanted to and didn't have sweet potato puree, but I'm going to show you how to make this. Growing up, I'm from New York and we never had sweet potato pie, but now that I'm in the South, sweet potato pie is a little bit more prevalent down here, I think. And so I figured out how to make this last year and I really, really like it. I made it with my own sweet potatoes last year, but since my sweet potato crop didn't grow this year, I had to use different sweet potatoes, but I had the puree already in my freezer ready to go. Um, I had cooked up the sweet potatoes a few weeks ago and just blended them up in my blender till they were nice and smooth. And then I froze it in half cup portions, or in this case, a cup portion and a half cup. So it's about a cup and a half, I think, of puree that you need, maybe two cups-ish. I think it's about a cup and a half to two cups. Just weigh it out. So the original recipe says to start with a pound of sweet potatoes and you roast them and I think they say to roast them. Anyway, cook them till they're soft, mush them up, all that. Anyway, I'm going to start with already pureed sweet potatoes. So I just pulled this out of the freezer, weighed it out. It's one, pint, one pound, two ounces, so it'll be fine. I'm going to thaw this in the microwave. Or you could, you know, let it set out ahead of time, but I didn't, so I'm going to thaw it. Now, before this is all completely defrosted, I'm just going to throw in a stick of butter and I'll let the butter soften with the rest of the sweet potatoes. This is very tricky to do one-handed. Ah! There we go. So I'm going to microwave this a little bit more so the butter is soft and the sweet potatoes are all thawed. Probably one other way you could do the sweet potato puree is just get some canned sweet potato and drain it and blend it up. You know, I mean, you could probably even just use your mixer and get it nice and smooth. That'd also be a quick and easy way to do this. Um, one thing I like about this recipe is that it doesn't use cream, which uh, cream can be kind of expensive and so I don't really like adding like two cups of cream to a recipe because ah, that's a lot of cream. This just uses milk, so it's pretty economical, kind of. <laughs> um, I also cut back the sugar a little bit. It calls for a cup of sugar. I put in three quarters cup of sugar because I made it one time with one cup and it was too sweet. Looking a lot better. I might need to do a little bit more just to get that butter to mix in, but that's good. Alright, there we go. Now it's nice and smooth. No butter chunks, no sweet potato things. Add in my sugar and beat that all in. sure that the butter is completely smooth into the sweet potatoes is that I think when you add the milk or any of the cold ingredients into this the butter will um, harden back up and kind of be lumpy in there so then you have like little lumps of butter in your pie filling and eh, it's not very great. <laughs> so now I'm going to add the eggs and the spices. Added in two eggs, half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Next I just poured this into a uh, unbaked pie crust. I just put up a video for the recipe of my pie crust this past week, so be sure to check that out if you want a good recipe for one. This is going to bake it. $350. This took about an hour to bake, hour and five minutes maybe. The knife is stuck into it and it comes out clean, so it's all done. Smells so good. So nutmeggy and can't wait to enjoy it later. This is so, so good. I think I'm going to have to make another one for Thanksgiving just because it's so good. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.